Okay, here we have three amazing Python programs. This one renames multiple files in a folder at the same time. Here we can see the full code. Pretty short. Let's see this code in action. All the files in this location have a new name now. First, we need the OS library. Now, with this sentence we get the location for this folder, we save it in the variable path. With this we obtain a list with all the file names in here. Now, with a little for loop we rename it. To the left the thing we don't want. To the right we write the replacement. All for loops are equal, but look in detail the first one. In the first one we use the lower function. With this function we change all the names to lowercase. That's the end. But why did I use this sentence multiple times? It is not better to use it just once and with just one for loop. No, because in every rename action all the names change, of course. That's why we need to ask the names all over again. Now, my favorite program. With this little thing we separate website names from emails. This is the source file. Only emails in this file. Only website names in this other file. We need the OS library again. Then we have an if. With this if we check if the source file exists. Now we create an array. We are going to do this. File to array, then array to two different files. So now we open the source file, we are using an R because we are reading a file. With this for loop we move every line of data in the source file to our array. After that we close the file. Now we create two files, we are using double A because we are creating and writing new files. FA for emails. FS for Let's create a new variable for this loop. Now, if we find this. In the line we save that line in a specific file, if we didn't find it we save the line in another file. After that we close both files. Now, let's check if our new files exist, if they not exist we have something wrong. To check that we are going to use this variable. If files created is equal to 2, all is good. That is all the code. But look, this is the light version, without the security checks. It works fine but... Be careful. Let's end this tutorial with the third code. This is the source file. A sorted file, we want to randomize it. The procedure is this. File to array, we shake the array a little, then array to file. Pure and simple. Here we open the file, see. That's why we use an R. With this loop we move the data to an array. Now we randomize the array. In this point we create a new file, that's why we use a double E. Now we're ready to file, and that is the end. Very cool, right? I am going to upload all these codes for you to download if you want. Check the description. With little knowledge and imagination we can create our own tools. This was only an example. Make your own tools, foo. Goodbye, Becky. Subscribe to the channel for more cool stuff.